Well, hello. I wasn't going to do a video today, but here I am doing one anyway. And the title of it is Ernest Rothschild's Royal Dragon Family. I'm not sure who Ernest Rothschild is or why his name is spelled that way. The title is taken from an article the ambassador sent to me. It's about the new BRICS world order, which, as I understand it, will level the playing field for humanity. It will stop the criminal financial system that has been in place since 1944 or possibly even earlier. Here's the link if you'd like to check it out for yourself. I have questions to ask the ambassador when he has time. Hopefully he or someone else who gets this will be able to help me clear up my confusion. Indeed, uh, I wouldn't normally associate any Rothschild, for that matter, with bricks. Bricks, to me, is the wave of the future, and it has nothing to do with the old world order. Rothschild, on the other hand, is a name associated with the old world order, in my mind. Now, that's not to say that uh, a younger generation Rothschild might be seeing things slightly different than their parents or grandparents uh, or the older generation sees things and has uh, set this current system that is so criminal in nature in place. So I'm hopeful as I read through several pages of this document, and as I said, I'm looking forward to talking more with the ambassador or someone else, which is why I provided the link, but maybe someone else can, can help clarify for me uh, why Rothschild is uh, associated with the uh, Dragon family. Uh, I realize the Dragon family is a royal family. I realize the ambassador is 50, number 55 in that lineage. I realize that uh, the Red Dragon, whom I've had many uh, conversations with and, and joined meetings with, um, I understand that, that he's number five, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in the lineage of the Chinese royal family. He's actually Chinese. The ambassador, of course, is European. And I as I understand it, there are other non-Chinese people that are part of that lineage. <coughs> it's not just China. And uh, BRICS, of course, include uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. But many other nations, I guess at least two-thirds or more of the world's nations have joined BRICS. So it's not some you know, idealism, dream of a few countries. It's actually grounded in uh, a lot of uh, situations in the world, and it involves uh, redoing the currencies and revaluating the currencies to make them the, the currencies that have been beaten down and, and uh, made very small are probably going to get the greatest boost and currencies like the US dollar uh, is going to take a big hit and I hope that's again uh, not for ordinary people but just for the, the high rollers if you will because if, if anybody should take the hit to me they're the ones that need to take the hit and keep either have the currency greatly devalued or wiped out altogether because it's been uh, gotten through fraud, in my opinion. Uh, yet the ordinary person who has been saving, uh, that's not the case. I mean, they've been saving based on what they believe had value, namely the dollar. Um, now, the ambassador said something about convert everything to a different currency, but that's not going to help me pay, look, pay bills while I'm living in the United States. Uh, so I need a, uh, an answer that is workable uh, and allows me to take what limited resources I have and make the most of them. Uh, so anyway, I, I'm putting this short video out uh, just to let you know that I'm thinking about you and that I'm puzzled by what the ambassador sent me. And again, I've not 
I've read a lot of pages. I haven't finished it yet. I, I don't know how many pages it is altogether, but I've read maybe 20 some pages altogether so far. Anyway, um, uh, look it up, and if you have some uh, some more definitive answers as to how to deal with this matter, uh, I'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, bear in mind that I have a, a lot on my plate this, this week, so I may not be able to get back to you uh, immediately. Uh, there's just, I, I only have so much energy and so much time, and uh, I will do the best I can to get through people as quickly as I can. Uh, but I do thank you for listening. And I, those of you that are interested, I thank you for delving more deeply into this and maybe coming up with some answers that are not just helping me, but would help others understand some of the transition in the financial system that's taking place right now. Thank you again for listening, and 